Hi, I'm Shannon Pace Brinker with the Academy of Chairside Assisting. Our quick tip of the day is really going to take you into the weekend with an aha moment. And when I say that, I learned this from Dr. Robert Corman. He loves to pack cord and we use it a lot before we're getting, whether uh, getting our final impression or we're taking a, a scan. Um, and we use a lot of different cord techniques. And one of the things that I know um, is that when we're placing cord, we really want to make sure that we're controlling the hemostasis. So one of the things that I learned from him was that whenever he is removing the cord, he likes for us as the dental assistant to put a steady stream of water to basically wet that cord again. And you may say, wet the cord again? Well, it's got to make sense, right? So if you think about, um, you know, a cord that we're packing and we're soaking it into Viscostat, um, from Ultradent and we're going to be packing that cord and we're going to let it sit and remember we're just pushing the, the tissue away to get a good final impression or to get a good final scan. But one of the things that we know is sometimes when we're going to pull those cords to get ready to take that scan or take that final impression, we might get just a little tiny tear, a little tiny tissue pull and here we go. Here comes all that bleeding again, right? We got to stop and repack. Um, and so these are the things that I've done my whole life. Well, until now. And so what I want you to do is take a quick look at this video clip of us actually taking, um, removing the cords right before we're getting ready to take a final impression. But you'll see Cindy, our other assistant, actually placing um, a steady stream of water right into the retraction cord. And I will tell you, it just, it's going to be an aha moment for you because it was for me. So I hope you'll get excited as I will uh, to deliver this quick tip of the day on behalf of Robert Corman. So here you'll see Dr. Corman, he's basically removing the cord. And as he's doing it, you'll see we're taking the air water syringe, steady stream of water. Cindy, one of our other dental assistants here is just giving a steady stream, no air. So as he's pulling that cord, um, re-wetting it, you're not seeing the little pulls of, of weepage sometimes that we'll get, you know, and again, pulling the dry cord, we've always done that, you know, we've never re wet the cord when we're um, pulling that to take a, a final impression or a digital scan. And uh, I will tell you, I think it's genius, you know, and I wish I would have thought about it a long time ago, um, but it makes so much sense. And so by wetting that cord, it makes it a lot easier, first of all, for him to remove it. But most importantly, um, we're not pulling any of the tissue and starting that bleeding again and then have to go back and repack the cord, which we have done before, right? Um, and so again, you'll see here where he's, he's able to get a really good, amazing final impression. Um, and again, no bleeding going on here. And this is exactly what we want. And so I hope you enjoyed this tip of the day on behalf of Dr. Corman and the Academy of Chairside Assisting. And thanks so much to Cindy, his dental assistant. And uh, we look forward to hearing from you and giving you another quick tip of the day.